Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be sharing how we at JobTarget monitor Athena usage. We'll be showing you beautiful dashboards graph which shows the usage insights. For example, which user is using most Athena, right? How is the, uh, how is the usage over a month or over a year? And all those amazing insights, I'll be sharing that. So a special thanks to our chief technology officer who essentially agreed to share these insights with you all on the video. So thank you so much and let's dive straight into the dashboard itself. So give me one sec. All right. So hopefully you guys can see my screen. Uh, this is the beautiful dashboard that we internally have at JobTarget, uh, which is built on AWS QuickSight. Um, so as you can see, the total amount of data scanned is 270 terabyte of data. 21.13% uh, up compared to the month of July. In July, we had 123 terabyte. August was 144 terabyte. So you can see clearly, um, you know, a, a, an incre increase in usage, right? Uh, the total amount of queries are essentially 3,279, as you can see here. So now on the right hand side, we see the usage over a month, right? So we can see in the month of July, we had 123 terabytes. Month of August, we had 144 terabytes, right? This graph shows us which user or which work group is essentially uh, using Athena the most. So most of people are running queries on primary 189 terabytes. And here data science team is also using, uh, you know, data science team is using, interns are also using. So here you can see an amazing graph which shows the breakdown by work group. This shows the total amount of queries over a month. So in the July, we essentially ran 1300 queries. Uh, in the month of August, we uh, essentially scanned 1600 queries. So all the amazing insight, right? Now, over here, this also shows you uh, the graph towards the right hand side, uh, the total amount of queries by work group. So I can see the data science team essentially ran uh, nearly about, I was trying to get the number, uh, it's about 500 queries roughly, right? So you essentially can see all the amazing insight, right? This one right here, this graph essentially shows you uh, the usage over a month grouped by work groups, right? So clearly I can see that the, the usage of the data science team has declined from the month of July. They were using 57 terabyte. Now in the month of August, uh, the usage is about, let me see, the usage is about uh, less than, I guess, 18.4 uh, terabyte, right? So I could see all these amazing insight, right? Uh, so again, thanks a lot to our chief technology officer who lets essentially or gave us permission to share this insight, right? Now, it's very easy. All the companies who are using Athena, it's guys very easy. We have published a library on PyPyPy. All the companies can download this library with a simple pip command. Uh, the library is absolutely very easy to use. Uh, you All you need to do is provide your access and secret key, provide a day for which you wanna fetch the report and the work group. Uh, if you have a list of work groups, simply run a for loop and you can run this report, right? Once you have a response, which is essentially an iterator, you can now iterate over the data, store this data on S3 and then build essentially beautiful insight, right? So. Uh, as you can see, right, it's very easy to use and very, again, intuitive, right? I can simply drag and drop. So I can come here. Here you can see, uh, you know, I can simply drag, drop, create beautiful insights, right? So for example, let's see, uh, I want to essentially add the month aspect to it. So let me uh, come here, add the month aspect to this, right? So I'll click here on the top and simply drag this over here. So now, uh, as you can see, uh, right, uh, it shows me, I, I can easily build dashboards very fast, right? This essentially gives us a, a beautiful insight about the usage, right? How's the usage, uh, which user are performing most of the query. So if needed now, since you have these dashboards now, let me share my screen. So since you have this dashboard, now you can monitor and essentially tell the team if they are running too many queries or, or you know, optimize uh, things if needed, right? So wanted to share this amazing dashboard that we built internally at JobTarget. So we essentially run this on a Lambda function every single day, which pulls the usage over a particular day for a work groups, right? And store this data on S3. Then essentially we run glue crawler, query this data using Athena to run essentially ad hoc queries. And then essentially to build dashboards, we use AWS QuickSight. 
uh, we load the data into Spice and uh, we build amazing dashboard which gives us, which gives project managers, directors beautiful insight about the usage reports. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave the links to the resources that is a library that you, you guys can download. Uh, with that being said, I do not have any other questions, but if you do have a questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer that. Once again, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. I hope this video gave you amazing insights uh, about the Athena usage, right? And how you can also develop uh, or essentially adopt the way we did it, right? Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.